Hey y'all, welcome to Rob Scott Reactions on Female Friday. You are here with your girl Amber. And your boy Jay. Fridays are amazing. I ain't gotta do no work. Mom picks all the songs out. I don't know what we're listening to until she drops it on all of us together. What we got today? Hey, right, you guys are fun, right? So you guys said that this is a one in a million voice, a voice that can sing all styles because you mentioned that she did do some backup singing for people like Shaka Khan, the Rolling Stones, Sting, and Nine Inch Nail. So, I mean, that kind of tells you that she has quite a voice. What's so, her name? Lisa Fisher. And the song you guys want us to check out is titled, How Can I Ease the Pain? Why does the name sound familiar? Now, The I, name Lisa Fisher sounds familiar to me. I, I think know why. probably the name, the where you would have heard it other than a suggestion might be in Gimme Shelter with the Rolling Stones. She did do the backing vocals with him. So I'm assuming you might have read her name in those comments, but what? we get to check this okay, woman out yeah. solo. You guys have said a lot of great things about her voice, so I'm so ready for it. The Rolling Stones. Sting, Sting Shaka, Khan, Shaka Khan, Tina Turner. Uh, Luther yeah. Vandross, another one I mean, that you guys mentioned. You're kind of just dipping your toe in, in, in a little bit of everything. <laughs> so she's got a voice, right? I'm, I'm pumped to yeah. check this out if you guys are new. Make sure y'all don't leave here today without liking the video, hitting that subscribe button, and turning on that post notification bell so you never miss any of our three daily videos. I forgot her name already. Lisa Fisher. Lisa Fisher. How can I ease the pain? Let's check it out. And if she backed up Luther Vanderoff, she could sing, <laughs> yeah. sing. That just clicked. See the Turner. Yeah. Fisher, mm, girl, yeah. Earl, my goodness. Not only can she just absolutely sing, not, not sing with an I, but sing with an A, the feels that she's giving you, the mood she's putting into it, the way that she's hugging and holding on to some of them lines. Hey, we ain't done the song yet. I, I'm in. I'm all in. I mean, I know you guys said that she was like really popping in the 80s and 90s, but like this is a song that I feel like is killing R&B songs today. Have you heard an R&B yeah. song come out like this good with these type of 
vocals today. See, my question, feels, my question is like, how long did she sing back up for? Because she, she should have been solo by herself for I mean, a long time. But, like, but what's that's what's span? cool, and that's what I want to I want to learn more about because what I gathered from the suggestions is yes, she was a phenomenal backup singer, but her solo career was just as phenomenal. I was going to say, she sings better than some of the people with that on I know, but like, I'm listening to her voice, and I, I know you guys said like she can sing, you know, just about anything. You gave us examples of people she's done backup for, but like, she's just got such a voice for like this R&B <laughs> feel. I would love to pay attention to and listen to her and like some other settings, see how a voice this rich with all these tricks and flair that she has, like how she also uses that in backup when she's singing backup for right. people like Nine Inch Nails. Like we don't know much about, but we know it's pretty hardcore. So like, I just want to understand more, but I'm, I'm a bit obsessed. I think she's phenomenal. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. She can sing. Let's get it. Talking, can break breaking glass, but also has the glass. Yes, it's not just like a lot of times I feel like with those high notes, like that's like it's like that's what you get all the time. Right. Like Mariah Carey, she's got a killer high note. We get a lot of those, but like she had like an amazing killer high note, but also like all oh, the beauty in between and like I'm, I'm like shook the right now. soulful mm -hmm. emotion there at the bottom too. Lisa Fisher, did somebody give her an award or a trophy? Is she like in some kind of Hall of Fame somewhere? Because she should be. She's got, be. got the high notes, like you said, but then she could also go down there and reach that depth. Like, you know, we love that. One of our favorite things about Cher is that, she, you know, Cher has that deeper depth in her voice. So and, like, she just gave you that, like, man, Lisa Fisher. Guys, y'all are going to have to, I mean, absolutely have to, give us so many Lisa Fisher comments down there and tell us what song we got to check out next. So do you realize how wild it is to, like, use Mariah Carey and share as an example <laughs> or comparison to one person? Like, that, to me, that's, like, totally different ends right at the spectrum. And, like, here we are, you saying Miss Lisa Fisher can't do both, and she can absolutely do both. She has one of the most powerhouse voices 
I think we've heard, and there are some really powerful female voices we've heard on the channel, but she's great, you guys. Thank y'all so, so much for that suggestion. A gym, amazing. Yeah. One, of, one of the best picks we've had in a while. Yeah. Oh, amazing wait, wait, don't pick. forget about that, huh? That part. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sing it for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, as we always send you out of here, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. Remember every single day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for your new family members, to hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome you all to the RSR family, but you have a goal every day just like we do. Let them know, Mom. All right, guys. All you got to do is make somebody smile. We love you guys. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.